And hello, everybody. Are you there? Can you hear me? Let me know. Thank you so much. I'm just going to check in with the chat. Welcome, everybody, and appreciate you being here with me. I see there's already a whole bunch of people joining. Thank you. Hey, we got Jim DeVille in the house. Awesome. Play ukulele by ear. Look up Jim DeVille. It's a sweet brother. with A lot of good things to share. Awesome. We got some folks from Toronto, Arizona, San Francisco Bay Area. Excellent. Yo, so I'm guessing that one, you can hear me. Let me know in the chat. Two, let me know where you're from, please. I'd love to say hello to you. And if you're watching this as a replay, at the last minute, I there was some technical snafu because I'm coming to you through a different means of technology. Uh, so I can share the PDFs on the screen. We had to change the link at the last moment. So let me know you can hear me and let me know that this is all working loud and clear. Awesome. Cool, we got some folks from Germany. Connecticut, excellent. Oh, wow, somebody's awake in Sydney, Naples, Florida. Excellent, we got a lot of folks joining. Stian, how are you in Oslo? Hello, Monica, how are you doing out there in Japan? Thank you, this is from uh, Tibet. Excellent, cool, so it's all working? Wonderful, so, so we're gonna get started in a moment. I wanna, of course, take a few moments just to say hi, let everybody come into the room. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this live, thank you for joining me. If you're watching this as a replay, um, keep in mind that I'm gonna be leading this in a way that'll still be interactive. So even if you're not here live, shout me out in the chat and say hi. And uh, let's say hi to a few more folks. Lara from Salt Lake City, Park City, hello, Phoenix. Oh, wow, oh my goodness, there's a whole lot of folks here. Thank you so much. Catherine, thanks for your email the other day. Welcome, everybody. Got some folks from Ana Cordes, Diane Poole from the DC area. All right, Ukulele Lee, thank you. Well, welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this lesson, this time together is going to be a lot of fun. I've got a whole lot of good stuff to share with you. And I'm coming to you slightly differently uh, through Zoom via you book uh via youtube so what we're going to do is we'll be able to look at the pdfs on the screen now before we get started if you haven't already check out the links in the video description below because there are links to get the printable song sheets and there are also some other links down there that i'll talk about later but for right now just let me uh introduce a few more welcome a few more folks here and then introduce myself we got some people showing up from northern new york Pete, what's up, brother? Dick Wilson, hey, thanks so much for being here. Uh, this is so sweet. Ukulele folks around the world getting together for these live streams. It's been uh, good for a lot of reasons. For one, we want to keep playing. Two, we want to take a moment just to you know recognize that these are you know very very difficult times that we're in, and making music is a incredible way to keep our spirits up stay connected so i hope you and your loved ones are doing well staying inside uh is not always easy i'm a person who likes to get outdoors get out into the world a lot so it has been challenging how are you holding up with everything aloha lucas hey from austin texas how you doing steve thank you peter Want to give a big shout out to all the folks who are supporting on Patreon this morning. We reached 1,000 patrons. My goodness. Thank you so much. Your support is helping uh, things to stay afloat here. As you may have heard, uh, many musicians have lost their year's worth of touring. So your support means everything. Really, really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Let's start with a quick screen share just to make sure that this is working. And I wanna share with you um, someone who is very, very grateful for your support. This little guy here just turned two months old, little Rowan Oliver, aw, he is the light of my life. 
And one more time, just want to say, here he is saying, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for all the love, for all the caring and the sharing. And that goes not only for me, of course, but for all the sharing uh, and all the caring that's being extended, not just to musicians, but to other people in your community. Uh, it's wonderful to see how the world is really stepping up to take care of one another. And here is Rowan saying, thank you. Thank you so much. He's also giving you the little, <laughs> tell you when he smiles, my heart melts. So thank you very much. Let's get into some playing. Welcome. My name is Stu Fuchs. I'm a lifelong musician. I consider myself a lifelong amateur. Amateur, not amateur, an amateur. You, if you're here, you are probably an amateur as well. Amateur from the word amore, right? One who loves. I grew up with a father who played classical guitar just for the love of it. My whole life, although I have been a professional artist for over 25 years now, as a teaching artist touring the world, doing a whole lot of interesting things, I consider myself just a person who does it for the love of it. And what really lights me up is to help others reach a place in their music that feels relaxing, that nourishes your daily life with a sense of peace. So we're going to get into this right now with a practice that will warm up our chords and also give you a little taste of what I like to call excited about being calm. Shout me out in the chat if you can relate to that expression. Excited about being calm. Now I'm just seeing in the chat. Oh, thanks. Some sweet, sweet comments about my son. Appreciate that. Excited about being calm. When we approach the instrument, and may I just say that there are many fantastic teachers. We got one in the room right now, Mr. Jim DeVille. So many fantastic teachers out there. I like to show um, things in a way where it's more than only playing, uh, putting your fingers in the right place. It's how we approach the instrument that can lead us into not only more effective learning, but to create an environment that's very, very relaxing and soothing. Let's take a look at the chords for Don't Worry, Be Happy, okay? First one is one that you've probably already played before. Let's play our C major chord. Now we're going to jam the song in just a moment. We are going to jam and we're going to learn the riffs that go along with many of these songs that we're going to play today. Take your, a moment here just now to follow this four step process. Breathe, strum, listen, and then smile. Okay break this down. And yeah, don't worry, we're not just going to sit here, listen to me, talk and talk, we are going to play and jam. But take a moment right now, I invite you just to take a moment to strum the chord. First, take a deep breath in, strum and listen and smile. Ready? Let's do it together. Ready? Two, three. Now, let's do a little experiment. Take the ukulele away. And what does your hand feel like? Is it soft? Right? Let's go a little deeper now. Let's play it again and see if you can relax your thumb and your wrist as you strum. Ready? Breathe in. Strum, listen to it as it decays into silence. <laughs> Take the instrument away. How loose is your hand? Excellent. Let's play the second chord, a D minor chord. Same process. Just take a moment. You know, this only takes a few, maybe two minutes. And what it does is it gets you in touch with what is it like to be loose? What is it like to be light in your hand as you play? Let's play D minor again. If you're not familiar with this chord, I'm going to share it on my screen in just a moment. Playing the middle finger, third finger, first finger, open. When we listen deeply to what's going on right now, 
we come home to the present moment now lift up that ring finger you play your f chord same process and then go back home to c all right you're cultivating deep listening coming home to the present moment so the wonders of life happening right here right now are still present even in the midst of everything that's going on in this crazy time we live in listening deeply is a way to reconnect with the goodness that is present right now let's strum a little bit now and what i'm going to do is we're going to go through these chords in a progressive way and when i say progressive i mean we're going to layer strums we're going to start with a very simple strum if you're just starting out you may like to do this simple strum we're going to get ourselves in the beat and we're going to strum just once every measure so on beat one count with me one two three four one two change to d minor one two three four one two three and f one two three four one two three four. keep that going if you're a beginning beginner let's do it again ready one two three you've been playing for a while Take this as an opportunity to relax the hand. Go deep. Breathe and smile. All right, let's layer the down up strum. Goes. Here comes deep. Let's do it. 
do it. Ain't got no cash, ain't got no style, ain't got no gal to make you smile. But don't worry, be happy. Strum anywhere you like, let's do it. Cause when you worry, your face will frown. But that will bring everybody down. So don't worry. Yeah, be happy. Sing it out for the whole world. Come on now, let's do it. You can even use a kazoo. be happy let's go back to single strums and check in are you feeling loose Try this with me. Just snap in between. Ready? One more. Slow down. La 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 la. And end on a big C. be happy thanks everybody how you feeling out there can you still hear me i'm juggling many windows out here so please let me know in the chat if you still hear me thank you so much for joining in now we're going to take a moment just to check in with what that was like and then i'm like to show you this riff it it's on the tablature and i'm going to share it on my screen in just a moment that zombie guy is in the house love you brother al thanks for being here all right so thank you so much everybody oh my goodness we got somebody from nepal thank you my sh my jacket came from nepal and so did the singing bowl i would love to visit someday stacia thank you for being here Thank you. Awesome, awesome. So you're feeling good? Now look, it's so good to strum. I'd like to share with you just a little bit of teaching now, okay? We just jammed. And now let's talk a little bit about something that might be very, very helpful. We talked about relaxing this hand, the wrist. Let's talk about relaxing this, okay? Now, if you're having a good time, would love it if you'd please smash the like button right now. Do me a favor, just click the like button. And if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to this channel, Ukulele Zen. I put out videos every week here, so click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and you will be in the loop. I've got a lot of really fun stuff. Every Friday, there's a new video. And if you support on the Patreon page, you can join a wonderful family. Every month I create a jam track that you can play along with. And that's only for two bucks a month. My family would of course appreciate it. You'll be rewarded with lots of cool perks. And at the other tiers, there's extra lessons, extra content. It's, uh, it's a really, really wonderful way to connect with some other folks there. We've got a wonderful community there. So just wanna let you know, if you wanted to support the channel, you can please smash the like button, click subscribe, share this video with your friends and uh, if you want to support on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. You can read all about the page. So thank you. I'm trying to keep these little announcements short because I want to serve you with a lot of value, with a lot of good stuff. Thank you for being here. Like I said at the beginning, I delight. It's my life's mission to help people approach music in a way that's lighter and freer. And the reason for that is that when I was 19 years old, I, it's a long story. I won't tell the whole thing, but I had an encounter with the jazz great Dave Brubeck. I jammed with him when I was 19. I walked into a lecture that he was doing and I asked if I could jam. And I had a powerful experience of when one is deep listening 
listening so deeply to the present moment, all the captions, all the thoughts go away. And I was so immersed in the music that this amazing music started to come out without any effort, any effort whatsoever. David Brubeck um, helped to create that because he is, as a master jazz improviser, is always in that state of accepting what's coming out, not judging it, keeping the channels open. And I was very blessed that day to be welcomed into that space. So that's a whole story I could tell sometime. Maybe someday I'll write a little ebook about my little encounters with, <laughs> with master musicians and encounters with deep listening. But um, let's have an experience right now, you and me, right now, okay? When you're strumming and you're making the rhythms, it's a wonderful feeling. It's actually a trance-like state that you can enter into. When you soften your body, so right now, wherever you're sitting, and I know you quarantine at home right now, you might have kids running around. <laughs> Mine is downstairs sleeping with his mama. Thank you, Sarah. You may not be in a quiet environment, but if you can, try to create a little bubble around yourself. Put your feet on the floor and take your strumming hand right now. Let's do a little exercise, a little yoga for the hand. Take your hand and pretend that it is a marionette puppet. Yeah, puppet string. Go ahead and do, do this. Pretend that you are a puppet. Now you see how that loosens up the wrist? And now let's open up an imaginary door, doorknob. Yeah, can you feel how loose that is? So now what I'd love for you to do is to bring that loose wrist to the instrument. And what we're going to do is one other detail is to brush the strings as lightly, just as lightly as you would brush this little guy's face, okay? You're brushing the strings and, and I've been testing this. I brush my baby's face and then I brush the strings and there's plenty of sound. It can be very difficult to do with as little effort as possible. It's an interesting uh, state to be in. When you can play softly with full tone, you'll notice that there's not that much effort that's needed, okay? So let's first connect with that simple light touch, okay? I've just said a lot, now let's experience it. Let me just demonstrate it for you, and then you try. Here I go. One and two and three and four and one. Keep it light, ready, go. One. that wrist loose, listen to the present moment, listen to what's really happening, look at what's really happening, go on, look at your wrist, and now let's whip a little harder on two, two, and four. time. Come on now. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and stop. Very good. Now we're going to do this again, but first take your hands off the instrument so you can relate, release any tension that may have built up. When we practice in this way, when you are practicing in this way, you are playing a game of just doing one thing at a time and you're shooting bullseyes, right? Practice is repetition, but it has to be, for in order for it to be really effective, it's a great idea to have your repetition be something where each attempt is conscious. It's not very helpful. It can be helpful, but it's not as helpful if you just repeat something a million times with ever, without ever stopping and evaluating what you're doing, okay? So I encourage you to now Think about this like a game of darts. You're going to shoot a bullseye, okay? And we don't care if it misses or, you know, we're not attached. We're just going to try just to do one thing just so, okay? And what is that one thing? It's keeping the backbeat. Beats two and four are stronger. The other ones are very light. 
remind yourself of what that's like. Go on, brush your face, pretend it's a baby's face, and now brush that cord. Yeah. Now, dip your fingers in, some, um, in an imaginary stream of water, and now whip the water off your fingertips. Now do that on the strings. Yeah. So you have the baby's face, and you whip, wrist is nice and loose. Let's practice one more time, okay? We'll just do four bars of this to have an experience of what effective practice is like. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm all about teaching you how to practice, how to learn, give a person a fishing pole so they can fish the rest of their life. Here we go. Just stay on the C chord and then we'll play something else. Thank you for being here. One, a two, Beats two and four, whip them harder. Ready? One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, and we stop. Excellent. Now, don't worry, we are gonna jam. We're gonna jam a whole lot, but let's just do this two more times, okay? Are you ready? Get yourself set. And let's do it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, look at it, feel it, listen, keep going. And let's stop. Nice, everybody. Cool. Now. You've just practiced, you've made some progress, yeah? One last time, and this time, let's play the whole chord progression for Don't Worry, Be Happy. I'm gonna put, the, gonna put the PDF right back on the screen so you can follow along. We won't play the entire song, but let's just play through this, okay? And our, the game is to try to stay connected to that feeling. Two, go, three, go, four, go with the feeling, go with the physical feeling. And the deep listening keeps you anchored in the present moment, okay? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Thank you for being with me. One, a two, a one, two. Here's a little song. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it. No. said we weren't going to play the whole song awesome job everybody if i listen closely i can it's like i can hear ukuleles playing backbeat around the world right now this is awesome so the backbeat massively important uh, rhythm to know so what we want to do now is uh i'd like to move forward with another song okay if you do check out the uh the other pdfs what we have is you'll see that we have another tune called I Feel Good by James Brown. So let's, let's bring up that one, all right? And this is another one where um, backbeat is gonna be so, so important, all right? While you get out your PDF song sheet, I wanna say hi to a few folks in the chat. Let me know how you're doing. Yes, yeah, so staying connected to breath, absolutely, Lee. Sensation can be very blissful to as you're playing, even something upbeat, you know, to be in touch with your breath. Yeah, so thank you very much. I appreciate you hanging with me. If you haven't noticed already in the link below, there are some, uh, there are some links if you are enjoying this and you'd like to donate, 
I would appreciate that very much. There's also a discount code for my stores online. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. I'll just say real quick, the code is stay home. It's 15% off. You can get stickers, t-shirts, CDs, eBooks, everything 15% off for the foreseeable future. Okay. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed what you're digging so far. Please click the like button. Let me know that this is good for you. What we're trying to do is to have an experience of not only playing songs, but to learn a little bit about how to learn, about connecting with a relaxed wrist, connecting with listening deeply to the present moment. Okay, so now let's get into some James Brown. James Brown, what a master, amazing man. Let's sing this song, C7. Come on now, play your C7 chord, warm up your chords. Yes. Next chord is F7. That's your F with an extra finger added. Some people like to drop the pinky up here. Yep. And then the next chord, G7. For this, we will be learning all the riffs, but first, let's just play the song. And when it comes time for the riff, we'll just scat it. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Are you ready? If you're ready, sing the first word with me. Wow. Let me hear you. One, two. Wow. I feel good. I knew that I would now. I feel good. I knew that I would now. So good. So good. I got a you. I feel nice, sugar and spice. I feel nice, sugar and spice. So nice, so nice, I got a you. Scratch it and sing. Ba, ba, bo, da, da, ba. Sing it now. Bo. Ba, da, da, da. Two more. Bum. Ba, 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 ba. You ready for the bridge? Bum. Ba, ba. Take me to the bridge when I hold you in my arms. I know that I can do no wrong when I hold you in my one strum. My love won't do you no harm. I feel nice. Sugar and spice. I feel nice, sugar and spice, so nice, so nice, I got a you, bump, 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 verse three, I feel good, yeah man, I knew that I would now, I feel good, Ooh, I knew that I would now, mm -hmm, so good. So good, I got a you. I'm gonna teach you all this. Sing so good, so good, I, I got a you. Come on, more. So good, so good, I got a you. And on a big C7. Come on, everybody. And let some joy out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was the first run through the preliminary jam. We're going to dig into these licks right now. I'm going to show you some of that chunky, funky strum I was doing right now. And we'll also talk a little bit about understanding the song structure, which is right here on beat on, on page two. All right, let me just stop the screen share for one moment so I can say hi and check in with how you are doing. I understand it's a little different than some other, you know, ukulele lessons and live streams. We go from one tune to the next, to the next, to the next. So I'm treating this a little bit more like a class. I hope you are digging it. If you are digging it, please hit the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel. 
and I would love it if um, you are so called to do so. If you want to support this class with a donation, there are links in the video description below to send a donation with PayPal or with Venmo. So appreciate your support. These kind of live streams are now the way many musicians are going to be working. And last thing I'd like to say is not only thank you for your donation, but if you want to keep in the loop of some upcoming events, I'm offering some online courses that I'll be launching very soon with very clearly laid out curriculum, videos, jam tracks. And if you want to know all about that, visit my website. There is a link below where you can sign the mailing list at stewfuchs.com. And don't worry, I'm not going to spam you or send you a million emails. I'll just let you know when the courses are up and ready. Sign the mailing list right there in the link below. There's also links to donate if you would like to. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Gracias. Muito obrigado. Thank you. Grazie. And finally, there is a discount code below if you want to support picking something up for you or someone you love. There's 15% off at my website stores. Okay, let's check in commercial break over. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're digging the class format, my. So now, yes, and as you can tell, I'm offering things in multiple levels. Thank you. So now let's go a little bit further. You know, you can have an awesome time. It's so wonderful just to play James Brown with the down up. <laughs> Beat strum that we were just bullseyeing before. I want to show you two very, very cool things you can do. Okay. The first one is kind of simulating those horns. We all know this song. We know that it goes, I feel good. Right. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could put that into your strum? Well, there's a pretty easy way to do it. Let me show you. Take your C7 chord and let's all come together now. Love in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So glad you're here, Desi. All right. So now here is how you simulate the horn line. Okay. You're going to strum down and then up. You're going to lift up that finger. Down. Up. We're practicing at the speed of a turtle. Yeah. We're practicing like a glacier, <laughs> taking time to be with it, feel it, look at it, drive it deeper into our consciousness. Okay. Taking your time is the quickest way to learn something. Okay. So once you're comfortable with that, and by the way, this live stream, you can watch this again and again at the same link. When you uh, are doing this now, you can get comfortable with it at the slow speed. Try it now. Ready? I feel good. Nice. I know it's not the full strum yet, but let's do this one more time. Are you ready? One, two. I feel good. you would just return to the strum. Last time, we're going to do it again and then return to the strum. One, two, three, four, one. I feel good. I knew that I would now. Okay, see what I'm doing there? Now, when you get to the F7 chord, you play your F like this. Drop your ring finger, drop your pinky. Always a good idea to go back to that very first thing we did at the very beginning of the class. Just take the ukulele away. How is my hand? Does it feel like I'm a chef? Molto bene, right? It should be very loose. I call this the chef mudra, the hand position, yogic mood mudra. Keep it loose because you're going to want to go now down, up. Now, that's not so easy for you right now. Keep in mind, I've, you know, it's taken me a while to get comfortable with this, but the quickest way is to go slow. 
So let's do this, okay? We go down, strum your F7. With or without the pinky, it'll work fine. If you can get the pinky in there, that'll be really cool. Down, up, down, up, down. Now, a little hint. Take a look at my thumb here. I'm not moving it. All right, so the hand is just kind of pivoting around the thumb. Yeah. Let's try it with the F7. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, go. Now, this is where I wish you were in the same room with me so I could know if you're ready, but please join in. Ready and go. Yeah, and then you go back to C7. Let's go back to F7. Ready? Go. Yeah. Some of you know how to play C7 up here. Same game, right? If you know how to play your F7 up here, same thing. You know how to play your C7 up here. F7 up here. I'm not trying to leave you in the dust here and go too fast. You can watch a chord tutorial right on my YouTube channel, Ukulele Zen. Just look up the bar chord, 10 minute bar chord workout. All right. And in the future, there will be more courses on habits of how to play with greater ease. All of that is going to be part of my online courses. So please say, uh, sign up for the mailing list at my website, stufuchs.com. Let's put this all in context. We'll go real slow, all right? Yeah, it'd be fun to do this fast, but I'd love for you to learn it and learn it thoroughly with a relaxed sense about it. Are you ready? We're gonna play all the way through the first verse, trying to put these little doohickeys, these little horn slides in there. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, wow! I feel good. So good, I got a uke. And now it's time for the part everybody's waiting for, learning this riff. Check it out. Are you having fun? I know it's a little bit challenging. I'm here to stretch you just a little bit. You don't have to play this, of course. This, like I said before, just strum it the way you like. But if you want to go a little deeper, if you're an advanced beginning, intermediate player, this is some groovy stuff. I have a whole tutorial on I Feel Good, and I recorded it when I was in Venice, Italy. You can see it at my YouTube channel, Ukulele Zen, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Let's learn the riff. Are you ready? Boo, 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 boo. It's actually pretty easy. There are five notes. Let's learn it in a, in a mindful way. What do I mean by that? I mean that we are going to breathe, listen, smile, so we can truly feel that the present moment is a wonderful moment. You might already feel like that. And that's fine. I'm very happy for that. Check out what happens when you notice what happens when we start to stretch. Notice the resistance, right? It's hard, very natural. It's totally natural. I don't like it when I make mistakes is another thought. But mistakes are your friends. Mistakes really are your friends. They are showing you, they're trying to guide you to what needs to be corrected, what is not known thoroughly enough yet. So if you invite your mistakes in, have a cup of tea with them. You'll see, they will teach you so much, all right? I know this is a little different than some ukulele classes. I appreciate you hanging with me. Let's learn the lick slowly. And believe it or not, by going slower, we're gonna get there faster. Step one, 
we're going to pick with our thumb. So I am going to hold my uke in a way. This is a Brian Griffin ukulele. There's a link below. People are asking about the ukulele. I'll talk about it later. And we're just going to pluck with the thumb. One note. I know it's super thrilling, right? I hope that your practice becomes a place where you can slow down, unplug from the hectic pace of the world, listen to just one note. That's the first note. The second note is the open E string. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail, but I am a classical guitarist, so details is, we love details. See what happened there? My thumb rested on the next string. So it's ready to pick the second note. Try that. That's called a rest stroke. You rest on the next string. And it's important to note that it's not resting with tension. It's just coming to rest. So first note, second note, third note. Take your ring finger, third fret, of that second string. Fourth note, index finger. Here's another cool detail. Notice when I put my ring finger here, did you see how if I relax my body, if I relax my hands, my fingers will naturally stay close to the fretboard. And then the note that I want to find is right there under my finger, right waiting for you. So that's called one finger per fret technique. If I took my ukulele away, it's like I'm just holding a relaxed hand in the air, waiting for, waiting for the soup. Oh, it smells so good. You know, waiting for the soup to be finished. Okay. Let's play those first four notes, and then we'll add the fifth one. You ready? I'll bring up the tablature in just one moment. Open. Ring finger, first finger, good. The slower you go, the quicker you get there. We're cultivating patience. Now the fifth fret, fifth fret with the ring finger. There we go. That's the fifth note. Let's play all five notes. Although it doesn't have the rhythm or the speed of this yet, you are learning where to place your fingers. One more time. This time, we'll have the visual aid of the tablature. And here it is. I'll zoom in so it's nice and clear. There it is. Open. Follow along with me. Ready? Begin. Third finger, first finger, and then all the way up to the fifth fret, I use my ring finger. Excellent. Let's now play it and sing it. We'll go a little bit faster and we'll sing it at the same time. Ready? Two, three, four, one. Try singing it. once. Don't do it a second time yet. Now. Ready? Go. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Three, four, one. Boom, 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 boom. You're doing great. I can tell you are. I can feel it. I can feel it. Now, let's put it into context. And in order to put it into the context of the riff, we should know that we strum the G7 twice, so good. Then we strum the F7 twice, so good. I got a U. And then we go right to it. Okay. The first note, C, doesn't start on beat one. It starts on the and of one. So check it out. One. Two, let's play it together. One, two, three. So good, so good. 
Did you notice that I didn't start on beat one, I started after one, so it's one. Let's practice that together. It's worth repeating things. And remember, repetition with love. That's what practice is, okay? Mistakes are your friends. Let them in. Let them be your teachers. You got to notice them and welcome them. Pretty soon, if you do this enough, mistakes won't even bother you. They just don't bother you. You know that they are there to help you. Let's play. Remember, we don't play on one, play right after one. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. Yes, thank you, Carol. One, two, three, four, one. Take the hand away. We're going to play the bullseye game, right? We're doing three in a row. If you can make three to five bullseyes really well, correctly, you're really making progress. It doesn't help you just to go, oh, you know, and making your shoulders tense and maybe holding your breath. And I'm not making fun of anybody at all. That's a very natural thing. But as soon as we wake up from that state, you might say, oh, wait, let me just do it once correctly. If you practice in this way, everything you repeat is like a brick that you're placing into a castle and your walls of the castle will be level, okay? This is the way I've learned everything from Bach to jazz to you know, bossa nova to folk songs. By going slow, you actually save yourself time, okay? Let's do it. Remember, don't play on one. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for being here. One, two, three, four, one. Yes, I'll answer your question right now, Bay Ukulele. This is a riff, so what you could do is instead of strumming chords, you could just scat it. Oh, 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 oh. All right, last time, let's add it to the chords, and then we're going to play the whole song all the way through. One, two, G7 twice. One, two, three. So good. So good, I got a you. Excellent. Let's do it one last time, this time faster. Okay, we'll pick up the speed of this a little bit. One, two, one, two, three. So good, so good, I got a you. Thank you. All right, let's break and play the whole song. I'm going to zoom out the screen share. Clyde, go check out the Queen. Yes, that's going to be an important address. I'll, I'd like to listen to that later. I hope everybody's doing well out there, staying healthy. We've still got about 15 more minutes of this live stream. And then afterwards, there's another live stream that I will be doing. And I'm going to share with you a link to it in this chat. Because afterwards, as you can tell, I'm very excited about being calm. There are some simple meditations that I'll be leading with ukulele, with deep listening. Meditations that use breath, focusing our minds on the present moment in a loving way. Cultivating loving attention is a way to de-stress our day. So I'm going to be sharing that when this is over, about 35 minutes from now. I hope you'll join me. There's a link in the video description below. Congratulations, Gordon. Glad you got it. Let's get back to the jamming. Before we do, just want to say thank you so much. Notice what we're doing here. We are not forcing. We are trying to allow, trying to allow it to happen. Okay. When we get to the other riff, you just sing it. You go like this. Or pick it. And it's right there on the tablature for you to check out. Let's get into this and play through the whole song, start to finish, soup to nuts. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your support. Let's play. Are you ready? Let's get ourselves into the groove. One, two. Wow, I feel good. I knew that I would now. I feel good. I feel nice. 
spice, sugar and spice. I feel nice, I sugar and spice. So nice, so nice. I got a you. Uh, 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 uh. Scratch it. Boom. Ba da to zada bum. Ba da bo da da bum bum. Ba da to da da. One more. Don't take me to the bridge. F7. Let's do it. When I hold you in my arms, I know my love can do no wrong. When I hold you in my arms, my love can't do you no harm. Spice. I feel nice. Sugar and spice. Yeah, so nice, so nice. I got a you. Ooh, 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 ooh. So nice, so nice. I got a you. Last time, so nice. So nice, I got a you. C7. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. A couple of details that are in there, of course, are the extra riff at the very end and the riff in the middle. You could apply the same process to this. I am gonna just check in with y'all in the chat. Thank you so much. If you're enjoying what you are seeing right here, appreciate you hanging. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you'd like to support this, we still, I still got some more to share with you before we're done. If you would like to support this, there are links in the video description below where you could send a donation Anything that you could offer would be so appreciated. As you know, many musicians like myself have lost all their work this year. I was going to go to British Columbia, to Australia, across the US and Canada. I can't do any of that work now. And your uh, uh, donations are so very helpful. If you'd also like to join our Patreon community, this channel has a Patreon community. We just hit 1,000 patrons every month. Ukulele Zen's Patreon page. I offer a lot of value at it. For just two bucks a month, you get access to PDFs and song sheets that support my weekly YouTube tutorials. Every month, I make a jam track, a special jam track that I record right here for you to sing, to play, and to perform and practice with. And I also offer exclusive content that take you deeper into the riffs that we are learning right here. So thank you so much, and we appreciate you being here so much. Thank you for your support, for your attention. Appreciate you spending some of your time. I also hope that you and your family are doing well and that you are safe and healthy during this time of COVID-19. It's very scary times. So listening deeply to the present moment, breathing consciously are ways that I return to the present moment, ways that I can de-stress. And I will be sharing more of those with you in a special session in about a half an hour from now. Special session, I'm putting a link right now in the chat and there's a link in the video description below, an entirely different live stream where for about 20 minutes, I'll be leading some very simple meditations that use breath and deep listening. But right now I know you showed up here for ukulele lesson and some jamming. So let's get right into it. Let's now turn to blue suede shoes. Okay, blue suede shoes. Let's open it up and let's just jam. Let's just get into this and I will take some questions after we are finished. Thank you so much for being here. Can you see the song sheet? This is a new technical thing for me to be able to do, sharing these song sheets with you. I have an ebook on how to play rockabilly music, how to add rhythm. <laughs> blues notes, how to play finger style. And all 
all of that is at an ebook that is right now on sale. There's a discount. It's in the video description below. So please click on those links. Merci beaucoup. Let's get into this. Are you ready to jam? Put on your cool cat clothes. This is Carl Perkins. It's normally thought of as an Elvis song, but his friend, Carl Perkins, wrote this song. Are you ready? One, start with your A chord. One, two, let's sing the blues. A one, two, three, was one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, cat, go, my don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything, but lay off my blue suede shoe. Well, you can knock me down, step in my face. Land of my name all over the place. Do anything that you wanna do. Uh -huh, honey, lay off my shoes, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything. Lay off of my blue suede shoes. Keep strumming, hey. To show you all this fancy stuff I'm doing in a moment. D7. Hey. E7. One more time around the blues. Strum the chorus for me. Well, it's a blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Uh huh. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Oh, yeah. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Uh huh. Suede shoes, blue, 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 suede shoes. Verse three, come on now. You can burn my house, steal my car, or drink my liquor from an old fruit you wanna do. But oh, uh, uh, honey, lay off of my shoes, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything uh, of my blue suede shoes. Hey, let's end on an A. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Now, I know I was sharing you with you a whole lot. Of, I was doing a whole bunch of extra different stuff. I hope you're just following along, playing the way you want to play. Can I share with you right now? Would it be all right if I shared with you? A little bit of what's in store for my Rockabilly course. My Rockabilly online course is going to be made live in the coming weeks. Hopefully, just about a month from right now, I'm launching a bunch of beginners courses, total beginners online courses, and a whole bunch of other subjects. You can sign up for my mailing list right now, and you get a free gift when you sign up, a free music download. It's available at my website, stufuchs.com. Just sign the mailing list. And I'll keep you in touch with when those classes are up and available. Love you, zombie guy. Ozanka. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. So let's ask some questions, and then I'm going to teach you a few more things before we break. How are you all feeling out there? You know, future live streams, I would like to offer just jams, of course, where we're going to play through one song after another. This is more of a class. You let me know in the chat and in your comments on Patreon what you would like me to do, because of course I want to serve you. Blue suede shoes, yeah. These are not blue suede shoes. These are blue woolen slippers. I got these in, uh, in Killarney in Ireland. Yeah, these are my blue suede shoes. <laughs> Carl Perkins wrote so many, so many great rock and roll songs. You know, the foundation of playing rock and roll is the backbeat. And, you know, while we're home and we have not much to do, well, we have a lot to do, but if you have some extra time and you want to watch a really good movie, it's called Backbeat. It's the story of the early Beatles, Backbeat. Just so happens that that movie is an awesome movie, but it's also the name of this rhythm we're playing. One, two, three, four, which is common to reggae. It's 
it's common to jazz, blues, soul music. So backbeat, being able to strum lightly on one and three, but whipping the strings on beats two and four, and to be able to control that is a master key rhythm. You know, it's not a small deal. It seems like it's not much information. Oh, yeah, yeah, beats two and four, no big deal. But it takes some time. It takes some time to learn the coordination. So now let's talk a little bit about um, this rockabilly stuff. And if you're interested, there's an ebook that teaches you all these tools for adding rhythm and adding these chord melody type ideas. And it's available for you right now. Click the links below. First one is to add the boogie note. The boogie note is simulating what a piano player does with their left hand. Now, we can have a really simple way to get into that sound by adding the ring finger to the third, excuse me, uh, second string at the second fret, and then take it off. Put it down and take it off. Now, check it out. I'm going to put it on beats two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. There you go, man. If you want to really get this quickly, guess what I'm going to say? Guess what? <laughs> I'm going to say to go slowly, of course. Going slowly. So you do it just once. Just like shooting darts in a pub, you know, you got to line up each shot whoosh, and then take your shot. Let's now add the boogie notes to A. Are you ready? One, two, come on now. One, two, three, go. Sound like rock and roll. Now, if you want to make it even more gritty, you can add the seventh. Seventh note of the scale would be dropping your pinky right here. And you suddenly have an A7 chord. Now we don't have time to get in all the music theory. It's not even all that important right now. You just think of it as an A and you're adding this note and then this note. And you get this sound. It almost sounds like you can't get no satisfaction. Can't get no. All right. Let's put those three notes in place. Are you ready? Check it out. One, two, three, four. Except on Taunton Avenue. I can't get no satisfaction. Get some satisfaction when you're strumming backbeat with boogie notes. Check it out. When you get to the D7 chord, I added the pinky. Now I go into this in much greater detail in the ebook. And by the way, the ebook is supported with a whole series of videos that you can watch on my YouTube channel, a whole playlist. So boogie notes can have two note melodies or three note melodies. All right, and this is the beginning of really getting a little more of a rock and roll sound, the kind of sound that players like Carl Perkins, Chuck Berry, Keith Richards, John Lennon, you know, this is what they added to it. They're simulating what a piano player's doing. When you get to the E7 chord, there's other things you can do. This is a riff that I showed recently in a video just about a week ago. Okay, but for now, you just strum away at the E7. Don't worry about boogie for the E7. I want to just check in with the chat. Yeah. So, so thanks everybody. Let's, uh, let's end, not yet, but let's round off our time together.
thank you for all these sweet chats. I really appreciate all the kindness. Glad you're enjoying it. Last but not least, when we take a look at this chord chart, you got your ukulele chords here, you got your song lyrics, but down here, this is, this is the structure, this 12 bar blues, and there are many, many ways to reharmonize this, okay, to add different chords. But this is the kind of blues that you find very often in old school rock and roll, old school country Memphis style rock and roll, where there are four bars of A, you're going to strum four beats each box. So as you're strumming, you're going one, two, three, four, keep your place in the boxes. And when you learn to read chord charts this way, one, two, three, four, you know the structure. You can understand better why these chords are changing over these lyrics because they're following this structure. Do you dig? Let me know in the comment section below. If you dig, you can say, yeah, man, or I dig it or whatever. Yes, so this is a 12 bar blues. Of course, at the beginning of it, there are these extra hits on the A. One for the money, two for the show, right? Three to get red, it's got some attitude. But even those are following the blues form. Strum along with me and let's sing. And right now, don't worry about if you don't know the words. I know we may not have the words by heart and they're all the way over here, but let's just follow along with this. Follow along with the song structure. Okay, you can drop these boogie notes in two note boogies or three note boogies for a, a whole lot of extra tutorials on this. Check out the ebook. There's a link in the video description below for the discount code, blah, blah, blah. And please sign my mailing list because I got some really good stuff coming up on these online courses. Let's strum. Let's have fun. Let's rock and roll. Are you ready? One, two. See a bouncing ball going across the page. Four beats a box. Ready? One, two, three, four. One for the money. Box two. Three for the show. Three to get ready. Go, cat, go. Next line, don't you? Step on my blue suede shoes. Three, four. You see the bouncing ball? You can do anything but lay off my blue suede shoes. Go again. A blue, blue, blue suede shoe. Uh huh. A blue, blue, a blue suede shoe. D7. Blue, 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 blue suede shoe. Uh huh. Blue, blue, blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything. Lay off of my blue suede shoe. And just for fun, good job, everybody. I can tell you were following along with this structure. You can watch this tutorial over and over again. Use these chord charts in your own practice. I hope they serve you well. This is what I played. And then I came up here. Okay. That is a six, nine chord. Six, nine. It's got the sixth note of the scale and the ninth note of the scale. Six, nine, dude. It's a whole lot more material for you to study at my YouTube channel. Appreciate you being here. Let's learn that lick one more time. It's three, two, open. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Three, two, open. Three, two, open. Now our middle finger goes to the second fret. Two, open, one. Open, two, then strum. That's a lot of information. That's why I always love to slow it down so it's not stress, so it doesn't create a traffic jam of info in your head. And you can really get it in a way that's relaxing. One more time, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Fast. 
One, two, three, faster. She was just 17, you know what I mean. The way she looked was way beyond compare. How could I dance with another? When I saw her standing. All right, so that's a classic kind of rock and roll sound. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a Griffin ukulele. Some people have been asking about it. It's made with a special bracing system. That's why the sound hole is here. The Kasha bracing system gives me extra sound. It's like having a Marshall stack inside of your ukulele it really is it's a very very different very very different construction so if you want to check out brian's ukuleles he's a sweet guy he's in his mid 80s sharp as a tack he still is writing books making great ukuleles so check it out the link below and you can read all about the kasha bracing system it's it was invented for guitars it i think it almost doubles the volume i think i'm distorting my microphone that's what i'm so uh, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen from around the world, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you spending some time with me. These live streams are a joy. They really go by quickly. I'm going to, in about 12 minutes from now, I'm going to be going live one more time in another live stream. And there's a link for it right now I'm putting in the chat. Simple meditations. Remember, meditation is not a serious thing. It's actually a very joyful process. And you can watch it at the link there or at the link in the video description below. The meditation is really just a process of returning to the present moment where the wonders of life become all the more available to us. Very often, maybe you can relate, our thinking mind can take us away from the present moment and rather than being concerned with the future, regretting the past, when we return home to the present moment, there's so much joy there and we can take the action that's necessary. Our future is made right now. So I hope you'll join me to learn some tools for returning home to the present moment. And we're gonna use our ukulele to do that too. We'll use deep listening, the singing bowl and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Jimu, namaste. Dennis, thank you. Mahalo, Pete. Hope all is well up there in Northern New York. Thank you so much, Monica. Glad you're here. My goodness, it must be early in the morning in Japan. Love you all. Really appreciate your support on Patreon. And if you are interested, there are copies of my CDs available. This is the CD that I was nominated for a Grammy Award. I played on this Grammy nominated recording toward the world with this artist, Sanatam Kar. Okay. This is not available at my website, but you can find this probably on iTunes. It's called Beloved and my other records. This is a band I used to play with, Gypsy Jazz. Really appreciate your support. During this time, it's not possible to tour and that's too bad because I really love being with you. My live sessions are very uplifting. I hope you found this uplifting. You uplift me with your presence, with your attention. Thank you so much. If you can donate something for this class, so appreciate it. Either way, I'm just glad you're here. Hope you'll sign my mailing list so you can stay in touch, let you know when I'm doing something like this again. Wish you well. Take good care, stay inside everybody. You doing all right out there? You getting cabin fever? You want a break from it all, you can, and you want to watch a movie, watch Backbeat. It's a good story about the Beatles in the early days with Stu Sutcliffe on bass when they went to Hamburg. So lots of love from Ecuador, Francisco. Thank you. Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. There's a rumble in Brighton. Thank you so much. Yeah, really appreciate all the positivity. 
Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Lara. I think you'll enjoy being a patron. There's a lot of benefits for you there. Tomorrow, I'm going to be recording the new jam track for this month. Big hugs. Stay well. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, we had a fun time playing gypsy jazz for almost 10 years. Thank you. Stay safe, everybody. Hope you and your families are well. Thank you. Big love to Turkey. Tuana, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, I hear you. Yeah. If not for music, yeah, I'd be totally crazy too. Big love, Fatty King. Thank you, brother, man. Miss you. Miss you a lot. Thank you so much. Hey, one last, uh, one last person who wants to say hi, wants to say goodbye one more time. Here he is. Give me the thumbs up. Oh, yeah. I feel like he's singing, there's no business like show business in that picture. Anyway, it's wonderful being a dad. I'm sure you can relate, those of you who are parents. Oh, the final chord. Yeah, you want to learn the final chord? I put my middle finger up here, and then this is right here. All right, so it's like a double bar, but this finger is just covering these two. Yeah. Congratulations, Robin, on your new Martin ukulele. So this is the 6-9 chord. Okay, watch my other videos for more instructions on how to make practice lighter. I'm going to be offering a whole lot more in my upcoming classes. Thank you so much for all your support, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. I know this, this kind of class is a little different. We will have other ones where we just go through tune to tune. Hope you don't mind if I share. I love to teach. Appreciate you being open. Thank you for letting me be myself. You go be yourself and play it your way. Remember Pete Seeger, the master folk artist, Pete Seeger, the folk process. You're going to do it your way anyway. So go do it your way. You know. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. All right. I got to take a little break, get a drink of tea, and we're going to meditate. Okay. Meditation. Come. In about seven minutes from right now, there's a link in the video description below. Join me and uh, we will have a really, really good time. You're gonna see meditation is depth, not seriousness, okay? Depth, not seriousness. All right, everybody, much love. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chris. I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm going to drop that link in here one more time. You can join for a very relaxing and deep time and uh, drop a few more things in the chat. Thank you. Muito obrigado. How do you say thank you in Japanese, Monica? Is it konnichiwa? Sergio, hey. Muito obrigado. Thank you. My wife speaks Portuguese much better than I do. I may be offering something on Facebook Live. I gotta gotta get the uh, technical hitches all worked out. Yeah. I Want to rock and roll all night, party every day. Come on, we got to sing that song. If you're still watching, if you're still one of the 200, almost 300 people here, this is, you got to learn this song. It might be in a different key, but it's A, D, and E7. At least that's the chorus, right? The anthem, rock and roll. And then palm mute, okay? There's a whole lesson. Just look up on my YouTube channel, palm mute. Chunky rock and roll sound. Ready? Start on A. One, two, one, two, three, four. I wanna rock and roll all night. Party every day. I wanna rock and roll all night. Party every day. I wanna rock and roll all night. so on and so forth, okay? That's right.
That's right. Rock and roll. Yeah, I know. We're missing the we're missing the confetti cannons. All right, ladies, gentlemen, children, fellow earthlings. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and meditate. Look forward to it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be light, relaxing. We'll connect with the present moment in a number of different ways. See you in about five minutes, everybody. Much love. Thanks for being here.